All right, we are here in the first round of this M12 draft. Um, this looks like a pretty good hand. I'm not definitely not going to mulligan this. I always hate these giant events because you have to wait for everyone to finish drafting. And then you have to wait for everyone to uh, finish deck building, which takes the whole 10 minutes or whatever. All right, put that down, F6. So, I mean, this is a pretty decent hand. I have uh, either Adept to uh, clear away folks, uh, Morphoke Looter to get more cards. Dark Favor is not ideal right now. Um, you know, I'll need to draw my Tormented Souls or uh, just save it later for maybe a Bell Tower Sphinx, but we'll see what's up. All right, first color is white. And Mine Rod, definitely not the worst draw. Clarence uh, a little laggy. Uh, I'm actually uploading my draft video right now to YouTube. But, you know, that should clear up in about 20 seconds, or two minutes, I believe. Oh, on over the pure. I really hate that card. Oh, not the, definitely not the worst draw. Alright, on this turn... Yeah, you know what? i probably mind rot him. I might catch some planes, but in terms of mana efficiency. But first, I'm actually going to draw a card and discard a card. I don't really need this uh, island currently. Might be a little greedy, but... You know, if we, if we need land next turn, we can just uh, draw it. Yeah, yeah, but for now, I think uh, I'm going to cast the Mine Rot, see if I can catch anything. And then whatever he plays next turn, I'm just going to either Adept. Ooh, some good stuff. So it looks like he's um, missing blue mana, because there would be no way he would discard that if he had Islands. The other thing I really like about Mine Rot, it, um, and depending on what they discard, it actually tells you a lot about their hand. So like he's discarding two of these, that means he probably has a bunch of planes and he probably has a bunch of aggressive white creatures like that. Oh, I did hit my fourth land. Um, yeah, I'm not sure... You know what, yeah, I will loot. I, I really don't need this Dark Favor right now at all. So, but I don't need the second land, uh, the fifth land either yet, so I'll discard that. And I'll go ahead and play my Eater Adept. Play my Swamp and go. We'll see if he has any of Pastrisms. Oh, Assault Griffin. That one is definitely getting Doom Bladed. And Mind Control might work too. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and loot. Yep, Dark Favor goes. You know, yeah, he he's a big enough flyer that where I would actually want to Mind Control him. Because um, if a veteran comes down, I can just Doom Blade it. So I'll do that and go ahead and swing in. So yeah, when he discarded that Stonehorn Dignitary, I knew he had a pretty aggressive start too. But fifth turn, and he's only casting the veteran. Oh, now I wish I had saved that. Uh, that dark favor. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Let's see, do I want to doom blade that? You know, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and loot first. This Anthem Cutthroat is not helping versus that, but neither is this island. So, uh, yeah, I'm not worth doom blading. I might take some damage, but we'll see. Oh, mighty leap. Okay, now that uh, that makes it easy for me. I'm gonna go ahead and doomblade that. Yeah, that, so usually you never want to really use your removal for combat either, I guess. 
Okay, well, yeah, it depends on the situation. We got lucky this time, I guess. But, you know, that really makes his hand a lot less scary, whatever he has. He can play only Armored Warhorse, that's fine. Alright, continue to loot. Pretty good draw. I'm going to go ahead and either adapt that right now. You know, swing in with everything, really. Still kind of sad I looted away that dark favor, but it was the right play at the time, I guess. Then again, you know, having a 8-6 Thran Golem flying for strike and trample, that would have been pretty nice. Pacifism. That is fine. So with 3-4, this would actually be a, a good blocker now. I'll, I might just discard that Thrangle. Yeah. Because this turn, now I have 6 land, I can um, play this Anthem Cutthroat and then have a, have a Mana Leak. So, yep, can't really attack. Okay, ponder is fine. Let's see what he does. Well, he's definitely pondering for quite a long time. Looks like he's not going to shuffle if he's taking this long to uh, put cards on top of his library. Yep. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Yeah, the, the one thing about having your left hand on F2 is sometimes you press it when you don't mean to. That's unfortunate. But that, that, that was definitely uh, mana leak worthy, I believe. Though I guess maybe I can redeem myself by either adapting. Um, yeah, this guy's going to be a 4-4 four, four attacker. Not a fun deck to play. Sure. And at this point, I'm actually going to go ahead and attack with everything. Because <laughs> I definitely want, don't want him to be like drawing into more steam. Okay, this this time I'm definitely going to keep my finger off the F2. <laughs> and he, he thought my deck was unfun. Now it's unfun. And he concedes. Yeah, so he doesn't look like he has that strong of a deck. Uh, he has the Honor of the Pure and, you know, a couple of white dudes. Um, yeah, I don't... not much I would change. I only saw one piece of removal, so I'll probably keep in everything. I'll see how I do the second round. Uh, when I when I win the first game, I usually don't sideboard unless um, you know there's obvious like things like combust. But for now, I'll keep this. So I'll see you guys in uh, the next round, or sorry, the next game.